I want to imagine, I want you to imagine with me that you have a visitor. There's a visitor who has joined us in church today, and they're standing right here, they're sitting right next to me, and they have never, ever seen a thing called feet. Now, they don't know what feet are. They've never heard of feet. They've never seen feet. They don't have feet. And they have no idea what feet are. And they say, I heard you use that term feet. What does that mean? How would you explain feet to somebody who didn't know what feet were? What sorts of things would you tell them? You use them for walking. Good. You would take off your shoes and show it to them. Good. Good visual illustration there. Picture. They stink. Yeah. Yeah. Feet stink. A lot of times they stink, don't they? How many people here know that feet stink sometimes? How many people here feet stink sometimes? Look at all those people back there. They're all a bunch of liars. They didn't have their hands up. Nobody back there raised their hand. I bet you every single one of their feet stink sometimes. Feet are stinky sometimes. Isn't that right? The, the Bible passage that we just read talks about feet. But did you know in Isaiah's day, feet were even worse than today? Today, how many people here have hot and cold running water? You have hot and cold running water here. That's good. How many people here take baths or showers at least once or twice a week? Yeah, that's good. That's good. And how many people here wash their feet when they do that? You do that? Good. How many people here have soap in their house that they can use for? See, you've got all these things. Back in Isaiah's day, most people didn't have hot and cold running water in their house. Most people didn't take baths every week or even every day. A lot of adults will take baths every day or showers every day. And they didn't have soap like we have. And perfumes to cover up that stinky smell were very expensive. So their feet, oh, and the other thing is, we've got these nice shoes that keep our feet kind of safe from all the, the dirt and stuff outside, but they wore sandals, which meant that the dirt, if they stepped in mud, they got right on their feet. Or if they stepped in doggy doo-doo, that got on their feet. Or sheep doo-doo, or cow doo-doo, or other doo-doo. <laughs> and it would get on their feet. And it was gross and yucky and stinky. And their feet got really dirty. But Isaiah's passage tells us something very interesting about feet. It said that feet can be beautiful. That's weird. Think about those feet covered with all that dirt and dust and mud and yuck. Stinky feet, Isaiah says, can be beautiful. If those feet are coming to bring good news. Isaiah says, if feet are coming to bring good news. Now, he's not talking just about the feet bringing the good news. He's talking about the feet bringing the person who's bringing the good news, right? And he says the good, the best news, like the best news that somebody could bring is that God loves you. That God is in charge of the universe. That God loves you so much that Jesus died for you. And took the penalty so that you could come and live with him in heaven. That is good news, isn't it? Guess what? If you've got stinky feet, you can have beautiful feet. Did you know that? If you bring that good news to somebody else, Isaiah says, your feet are beautiful. How many people here want beautiful feet? I want beautiful feet. Yeah, if you bring the good news that Jesus loves someone, and you tell them that, your feet become beautiful. And guess what? If your stinky, ugly, bony feet are beautiful, guess what that makes the rest of you? Absolutely gorgeous. Let's pray and thank God for that. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for us and letting us come to heaven to live with you. And with God the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. That is good news. Help us to tell someone this week about that good news. And then we can have beautiful feet and be absolutely gorgeous in your eyes.